Hi, welcome back. Here we are going to look at particle motion with wedges. This section normally comes under dynamics. Let's see an example. The figure below shows a wedge of mass capital M. This is the wedge of mass capital M and a smooth particle of mass simple M which is kept on the smooth inclined surface of the wedge, this inclined surface. The inclination of this surface with the horizontal is theta. The wedge moves on a smooth horizontal plane while the particle slides on the wedge. This particle slides on the wedge, basically this pushes the wedge to the right hand direction and it's kept on a smooth table or smooth plane here. The system starts to move from the rest. So at the beginning we just leave the particle to slide down the wedge. What we need to do is we need to calculate the acceleration of the wedge that is capital F, the acceleration of the particle that is simple F, the reaction between particle and the wedge capital S, and the reaction between the wedge and the horizontal plane, capital R. Let's see how are we going to do this one. What's going to happen to this particle? At the beginning, the particle is at initial state and it slides down this inclined plane. So due to that force uh, S exerted on this plane, this wedge pushes forward and at the second time this t equals zero after some time basically the wedge will move forward with an acceleration of capital F while this particle move slides downward with an acceleration of simple F. Now let's see how we can apply the equations to find out the simple F capital F and the two forces. The two forces forces are capital R and capital S. Capital F is the acceleration of the wedge and simple F is the acceleration of this particle. First equation that we can apply is the P equal to MF parallel to the inclined plane. This inclined plane. We apply P equal to MF parallel to this inclined plane. So we need to find out the force and the force in this particular case is uh, due to the mg and the angle theta is the inclination angle therefore this angle equal to theta here so therefore mg sine theta is the force parallel to this plane equal to m times f m times f is simple f when it slides downward but we have to make sure that this plane also moves forward with an acceleration of capital F. Therefore, there is a component of capital F cos theta, capital F cos theta, where the, the uh, there is a capital F cos theta uh, acceleration opposite to the acceleration of simple F. Therefore, we need to take off simple F minus capital F cos theta. This particular case. And now we apply the P equal to MF in the horizontal direction for the two objects. Now we need to see here that there are no external forces when you combine these uh, two objects as one object and there are two as one external force in the vertical direction but there is nothing in the horizontal direction. Therefore force equal to zero in this case P equal to MF there's no force and the MF simple M or the, or the mass of the wedge is capital M and capital M times acceleration is the component of MF due to the wedge and component of MF due to the, the particle here is simple M times the again this moves forward with an acceleration capital F minus the due to the acceleration of simple F it actually works in the opposite direction of capital F. Therefore, the simple F cos theta will be will have to be taken out from capital F. 
uh, in this particular particle. So therefore, simple m times capital F minus f cos theta. Simple f cos theta because this acceleration is opposite to capital F. Now we have two equations. Equation 1 is mg sin theta equal to mf minus f cos theta. Equation 2, 0 equal to capital MF plus simple m times capital F minus f cos theta. So now our task is to find out the values of capital F and simple f. So from equation 1, we get simple f equal to g sin theta. That is m and m will cancel off. g sin theta plus capital F cos theta. Now we can substitute simple f in equation 2. Uh, here, what we are going to find out is capital F. So you have to get rid of simple f. You substitute simple f in terms of capital F here. And then you can simplify and find the cap value of capital F by uh, uh, taking the capital F into the left hand side. And this is the equation for the acceleration of the wedge mg cos theta times sine theta divided by capital M plus simple m sine squared theta. Uh, make sure that there is a function here 1 minus cos squared theta will come under here. So 1 minus cos squared theta will become sine squared theta. Please try to work out and see the answer there. And similarly, we can substitute capital F in equation 2 to find out the value of simple F. So that means you substitute capital F here to get rid of capital F and then you can find simple F, which is again the numerator, the numerator is uh, the same, but numerator is different. So let's try to see whether you can get this simplified version of F. The simple f, the simple f is the acceleration of the particle along the inclined axis. That is the second part of the question. Now we have to find out the forces. Uh, what we need to find out is S and R. So what we do here again apply P equal to MF horizontally only to the wedge. So that is, if you apply P equal to MF horizontally only to the wedge, and therefore then we need to look at this capital S working uh, capital S because of the particle, there is a force S towards the wedge. So that S will create a force in the horizontal direction, but force component of this S in the horizontal direction is S sine theta. This angle is theta. S sine theta will uh, this this angle is theta here. So, so this angle is S. Uh, this this angle is theta. Therefore, S sine theta is the horizontal component of this S and times the capital M F the force times the mass. Mass times force. Mass is capital M. Force is F. Okay, let's now apply the P equal to MF vertically only to the wedge because we need to find out the reaction R. So to find out reaction R, we need to get R into the picture. So if we apply P equal to MF vertically, what we can see is that there is no vertical acceleration. Therefore, in the P equal to MF, there is no, uh, the acceleration is zero. Therefore, right hand side will become zero. And there are three forces, R acting upwards, Mg acting downwards, and capital S acting downward. Capital S has a component S cos theta. This angle is theta, S cos theta. And since it's acting downwards, it's negative. So we apply this in the upward direction. Now, again, we have two more equation. These are the equation that we got earlier. Capital F and simple F are the answers we already found. And now we have equation 3, S sine theta equal to capital MF. And equation 4, R minus MG minus S cos theta equal to 0. So now from equation 3, we can easily find out the value of S. S equal to capital MF divided by sine theta. And what we know is capital F is found earlier. So we substitute capital F to find out the answer for capital S.
that is the reaction of the particle between the particle and the wedge that is part C of the question part D of the question is to find out the reaction between the wedge and the horizontal plane that is capital R to find out capital R we use the equation 4 and substitute S in that equation and simplify and make R the subject then we get R equal to mg times m plus simple m divided by capital M plus simple m sine squared theta this is the last part of the question and that's the end of the answer particle motion with wedges